You know what? It's been a long time since I've done a good old fashioned outfit video on the channel. And you know what else? I think it's time to do one. We've got this new space here and I've got a rack of clothes as well as some shoes and accessories to put together five spring outfits. But first, you know what happens. I'm Brian Sakawa, you are watching He Spoke Style, and this channel is dedicated to giving you all the advice and inspiration you need to dress well, develop your personal style, and gain more confidence. Here we are with look number one, which features a pair of white denim from J. Crew in my favorite 484 fit. Up top, I've got a cream textured sweater with gray stripes from Peter Millar. And then over that, I'm layering this amazing olive safari jacket, which was a collaboration between Informale and Craftsman Clothing. I know that combining a sweater and jacket might seem a little too much for spring, especially since we're getting closer to summer now, but both of these pieces are very lightweight and also made with linen. The jacket, 100% linen, and the sweater is actually about a 50-50 mix of merino wool and linen. Shoes and accessories, I'm wearing a pair of Bowden and Lang loafers, with a suede belt to match. Sunglasses are the Dylan by Jacques-Marie Maj. And on my wrist, the Datagraph is the perfect finishing touch here. Earth tones like olive and brown, you know, we typically think of being fall colors, but when you style them with light tones like white and cream, they're very easy to integrate into your spring and summer wardrobe. Look number two, I'm gonna call business casually relaxed and sporty slash rugged. So we've got a pair of navy cotton trousers paired with a denim shirt up top for a nice sporty contrast. And then over that, instead of a sport coat, I am layering this khaki cotton jacket to give it a more rugged and relaxed feel. And all three items, the jacket, shirt, and pants are HSS MAB, available in the shop. Anchoring this look are walnut colored derbies by Enzo Bonafe. And for the watch, I decided to go with the beautiful and minimal traditional. The briefcase I've got here is by a company called Maverick & Co, who was kind enough to sponsor today's video. This is the Manhattan briefcase, and it's got a very slim and simple profile. It's made with Saffiano leather, which means it's more resistant to scratching and water damage. And it's also very durable and easy to clean. It's got a very sporty look with the navy color and orange accents, which I think complements this outfit really well. They do have six different color combinations, which you can check out on their website. The outside pocket here is perfect for a phone, and inside you have a padded laptop sleeve, a medium-sized pocket with a magnetic closure, two smaller pockets, as well as two pen slots. And if you want, they do include a shoulder strap for carrying as well. This is a very understated and classy briefcase for a business casual environment. I think it works extremely well. I've got a link down below to the collection and you can actually save an extra 10% on all Maverick & Co products by using code K-HSS10 at checkout. Okay, look number three now bringing back the white denim and pairing it with a little bit of a darker denim shirt than you saw in the previous look. Over that, I've got our classic navy blazer and some suede tassel loafers anchoring the outfit. Spring, summer, I love doing this preppy nautical style. Feels fresh and really kind of matches the season. Obviously, a key part to this look is a pair of white pants. And for a more everyday, easy wearing, relaxed look, I do prefer white jeans because they're more casual. But if it was a date night situation, I would definitely swap them out for a nice pair of white cotton pants instead. Now, if the day or evening is a little chillier, check this out. I think the olive linen safari jacket from look one is a great piece to layer. You get a little more depth and interest in terms of color. I do really like how the green complements the brown of the loafers. And it also lends a more casually rugged overall feel. Moving on to look number four, and this one's maybe a little more towards summer, but would definitely work on a warm spring day. Featured piece here is this navy short sleeve pajama shirt, which I paired with some cream linen trousers, both from the HSS MAB collection. Don't sleep on the pajama shirt as a cool, relaxed, and unexpected spring summer top. I don't know about you, but as much as I love classic style, over the last couple years, you know, 
I've really enjoyed adding some more casual and different kinds of pieces into my wardrobe. And for me, the pajama shirt kind of represents a good feeling and kind of a reminder to enjoy yourself and be as relaxed as you would be when you might typically be wearing some pajamas. So for shoes, I kept it casual but elevated with the Bowden and Lang loafers. Data graph once again on my wrist and then now, help me decide here whether you prefer this outfit with these sunglasses or with this hat. Let me know in the comments. For look number five, going super casual and relaxed with a denim on denim look, the light blue denim shirt is by Drake's, which I paired with some kind of medium blue jeans from J. Crew in the 484 fit. Over that, I've thrown on a tan corduroy trucker jacket, kind of a more unique and maybe I'd say grown-up take on a very cool and classic piece of lightweight outerwear. Shoes, I've got on a pair of white leather Common Project sneakers. Sunglasses are the Fitzgerald by Jacques-Marie Mage. And on the wrist, I have my Omega Speedmaster on a mesh band from Forstner Bands. I think this is definitely an outfit that anyone can pull off, but if it happens to be, you know, maybe a little too casual for you, Go ahead and check out that playlist right over there, which is full of over 50 different outfit ideas that are both simple and stylish. 